that and say thank you uh, from someone who is part of the future. And there's the future right there. And at least I'm encouraged by the fact that this young man, this very young man, has shown such a vision and articulated what is at stake here. And I just want to thank him. And uh, I hope that uh, you will be working at a whale sanctuary someday. Because we want people like you. Good evening. Uh, my name is Frances Monroe, and I'm from Mushabul. I am a lifelong resident, although I've been away for 35 years due to work in the city. I moved home four years ago. My home was directly on the water. I could spit into it if I really wanted to. Uh, I am against the whale sanctuary, and it's not because I'm not an animal lover. It's just because I, we live in a senior community. You have to respect that 80% of the people in Mushroom are seniors, such as myself. I've got uncles, I've got relatives here, I've got nephews, I've got nieces, I've got friends that fish out of that harbor for their livelihood. The other 20% are fishermen. That's their livelihood. When I first moved home, and it's nothing against any residents of She Harbor or wherever, because I like you live where you gotta live, but there's been nothing in this community. My father worked Scott Paper Company. When that got washed out, there was nothing. My father had to move away from home to go to work in order to get employment. When I come home to She Harbor or to move in, I'll probably get swat on for losing or for saying it, but it's like walking back in time. There's no Tim Hortons here. There's no Chinese restaurant here. There's one drugstore that closes on a Sunday. There is one hospital that's closed, open. It depends on whatever the doctor, what he feels like. Uh, two motels, one grocery store, a couple of gas stations, and it seems like at 6 o'clock at night, they all roll up the carpet, the sidewalks, because it's time for She Harbor to go home. That's, that's my pitch of it. And I do not want my fishermen or fisherwomen to suffer just because, like with this whale sanctuary coming in, it doesn't make sense to me why you would put people at a risk of what job they have but losing it. To expect them to go elsewhere to fish because that's what will happen. My daughter or my granddaughter has a fish tank if that's not cleaned out, every three weeks there's nothing but sludge and shit at the bottom of an excuse the language of shit. But, you know, I just don't get it why this whale sanctuary, because it's in a netted area, is going to make it any difference. And if the case of it is like you said, they're not being given um, birth control. Well, why are baby whales still coming in, like at the marine land? Did you not state that? And, uh, and excuse me, one more question. And uh, you said there's about 20 jobs, right? Yes. Room full of people here. So. Pick 20 people who's going to have a job and who's not. I guarantee you it will not be the people in Musher Bowl. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just, just a little bit of response. I mean, certainly. 20 jobs or 10 local jobs don't change the economy of an area. They have an impact. So, but I don't know that there are that many other new things that have come forward that propose 10 local jobs and 20 jobs generally. So it's some number. Now, certainly, whether those people could come from Mushaboom or elsewhere, I don't have a reason to think they couldn't come from Ushabu. A number of the skill sets that we describe as needed are more likely to be skill sets that people who work on the water and know the water are able to fill. So in that context, I would think the fishing community is a more likely community to be able to provide the skills that we would need. So just, just as a, a sense of that. 
Now, with respect to marine land and their breeding program, they desire to raise more whales. They're trying to have their whales breed. That's the reason they've been able to build a population of 50, of more than 50 beluga whales. And why they are criticized around the world for the number of whales they have and the conditions under which they keep them. So the fact that they're a source of recommending that the science around birth control for whales doesn't work is in part because of their business model. And so I just underscore what Lori said earlier, that the science on that is clear, it works. And further, the way in which a fish tank works is totally enclosed. And the reason to be in an environment that has current, that has current flow, has tidal flow, is because that helps the dissolution of any kind of sediment and waste from the animals, as well as from all the other animals that are already there, which are many more than the whales, the number of whales, and the amount of excrement and the like that they would be contributing to the environment. So these things, by no means are all the studies done, but we have been studying how to do this for a long time, and some of the science is very clear. Thank you. Right.